Hello and welcome. So this question deals about a female uh, who had a liver transplant and who is now under three drugs. The first one is prednisone. The second one is mycophenolate mofetil. And the third drug is an unknown drug which we have to find out. But there is certain information that's given about the third drug. The first information it it, it, that it that is given is that it inhibits T cell proliferation okay and the second information that's given is that this new drug or this third drug is also least nephrotoxic or it's least damaging to the kidney now the question obviously deals with some immunosuppressants which is quite obvious which will inhibit T cell proliferation and which will also the least nephrotoxic, not nephrotoxic. So having all that information, I'll give you a moment to think about it. What could this be? What could be this new drug? Okay, so there is three possible options for this for this immunosuppressant that will inhibit T cell proliferation, and they are cyclosporine. Tacrolimus and serolimus. They all will inhibit T cell prol proliferation. Now, there's two ways of answering the question. The first one is which of these three drugs directly inhibits T cell proliferation? There is a straight answer for it too. It will directly inhibit T cell proliferation. And the answer for that is serolimus. But sometimes wordings can be confusing we don't really not sure if it will directly inhibit T-cell proliferation because cyclosporine and tacrolimus will also inhibit T-cell proliferation but not directly. But how does cyclosporine and tacrolimus inhibit T-cell proliferation? They inhibit something called calcineurin which indirectly inhibits T-cell pro proliferation. So either you knew that serolimus inhibits T cell pro proliferation directly and you get to the answer that it's serolimus or the next option is going through the toxicities of each and every drug which could be a little bit time consuming if you don't know the toxicities are and if you get confused okay do I know the toxicities properly or not so I have showed you one way to answer the question let's also discuss the toxicities of each of these drugs now for cyclosporin, there is, I, the way I learned the toxicity for this one is VLN, so V, L, N. V stands for viral infection, L stands for lymphoma, and N stands, N stands for nephrotoxicity which can be reduced with mannitol. Okay. So we can see that this causes nef nephrotoxicity. So this might not be our answer. Let's go to tacrolimus. Now the way I learned tacrolimus is it has five toxicities and they are P, P, N, H H. The first P deals with plural effusions. The second P deals with peripheral neuropathy. The N obviously is nephril toxicity. H deals with hypertension and the second H deals with hyperlipidemia. Now these are the toxicities of tacrolimus. So we can see that even tacrolimus is causing nephrotoxicity. Now we're left with serolimus. Now serolimus also has three toxicities and they are and I learned it like H. T L. 
H tense stands for hyperlipidemia. T stands for thrombocytopenia. And sorry, this should be L, H, T, L. And L stands for leukopenia. So, from this we can clearly see that serolimus will be our drug because there is no nephrotoxicity. Okay? So, our answer is serolimus no matter how we do it. So, please uh, leave me a comment if you have any other suggestion how to improve my video please do subscribe and also like my video so that I have some encouragement to keep making these videos and keep making them better and better and I will see you guys in my next video with a new question thank you bye now